<clears throat> it dries quickly through a penetration, but you can come back and flood it in real fast. If you want to stay within the uh, confines of the black letter, or if you want to really do it quickly, you can take a two inch pen, which we have, and simply pull it right over the top of your letters. On this computer printout, it will uh, background your paper. Your black will pull your sign out, so it's quite, uh, quite attractive. We have 22 different colors that you can use in your library center, your workroom. And some of the benefits that you have with this outfit is that <clears throat> you have a conventional magic marker size, a quarter inch size. You have a magnum marker size. You have four different marking edges on this, which is two inch, and then a two inch with a slot cut in it, a notch, which I'll show you how those work in a while, a one inch, and then a one inch with a slot. So you have a quite a different variation of marking edges that you can get with each color. A quarter of the ink, it comes in quart glass bottles, a quarter of the ink is equivalent to about $115 worth of magic markers. This set can be serviced. It's a refillable type pen. The felts go down inside so that when your teachers are using them, they get rounded off. They can simply be pulled apart. The felt slid up, put back together, cut and trimmed. <clears throat> and then when those are eventually trimmed out, you can actually get refills for it and keep right on working. Each one of the pens works the same way. It's completely be completely refillable and rebuildable. If, if you happen to put uh, like black into your purple and mess it up, you can put new felts into it and get it going again. A lot of the teachers, when they're working, will take an overhead projector and do their demonstrations for their bulletin boards and so forth. And it literally takes uh, 20 or 30 minutes with this little pen to fill that in. You can take this two inch pen and stay within the lines. It fills quickly. Depending on the quality of paper that you use, Almost all of your overlap marks and so forth will disappear as your dyes uh, evaporate out. Now it dries real fast through a penetration. So you want to keep something underneath of it so it doesn't go through on your gym floor or on your desktops or your carpeting or whatever. <clears throat> because it dries quickly, you can come back with other shades, put background on it and your pens stay clean. That will work on any of your paper products. Uh, the bulletin board paper that you get in your large rolls at school is probably about the best type of paper to use. Poster board has two surfaces. It has a slick side and it has a, uh, a porous side. And when you use it on a slick side and you do something something with that side, I'll show you what happens. Now it gets a nice enamel type paint finish to it, but it doesn't dry. We have an oil in there to keep your pens from getting hard. But if I put a black in there, it, it comes over the top of it and it smears your marks. So you get a little bit of smear on your pens, but if that happens, you just take a, another piece of paper and wipe it, and that black dye will flow out so you can clean your pens yourself. The best way to do it would be if you want to use a slick sign, is do your light colors first and then come back with your black. Because it doesn't matter whether the red gets into the black or the yellow gets into the black, because the black is going to overpower it. On the pour side, and that doesn't happen. You can take your pins and mark with it, come right back over the top, and it's dry that fast.
the business community have been using these sets for the last 23 years. It's proven economical with them. Uh, we did a research a survey with Winn Dixies one time when they were getting ready to purchase these, and they took account of the amount of conventional magic markers that they used during the, a month's time. And it was a large store, three large stores actually, and it took uh, approximately $1,100 $1 worth of magic marker per month in those stores, where it'd take about less than a quart of ink for the same amount of time with these markers. So it's quite, uh, quite ec economical. If your cheerleaders are using it, a quart of ink will go as far as approximately five of your large bottles of temper paint. Uh, you don't have to mix it, you just simply pour it into your cup and paint away. With the ReadyMark uh, sign system, club, different type of clubs can use it all the way from your student council down to your Head Start programs, all the way through your educational system. Uh, the universities, uh, many of the sororities use it, the student unions use it. In the high school setting, you have all your different 4-H clubs, your different uh, clubs within the school that uh, use banners all the time, use your poster boards for elections and so forth. It's quite uh, effective for doing that. going to do now is show you how to be an artist. Most uh, school settings in the elementary or middle schools, some of the middle schools, uh, we don't have uh, art teachers. Or if you do, you share it with uh, another school. And most, most times the art teacher gets overwhelmed when she is in that setting because of the request from the different teachers and so forth. This set has been made so that just about anybody can use it. And what I'm going to do today is show some techniques, uh, quote, secrets about how to use this pen and getting effective uh, bulletins, bulletin board uh, displays, signs, banners, posters, so forth. And the basic uh, premise with this thing is not to turn or twist your wrist, but you can get approximately, out of each color, approximately 30 different strokes on how you hold your pen. The first stroke is just basically a parallel to the side of your paper type stroke. It gives a nice broad stroke. You do not turn or twist your pen. You hold it in one position. It thins and thickens by itself. So you can take other colors if you want to and shade it either on the left side and bottom, right side and top, or all around it. Uh, but you can do effective posters really quick by remembering you do not turn or twist your pen. You hold it in one position and slide it around just like you would with a, uh, a ballpoint pen. Hold it in the palm of your hand with your finger on top to ensure nice even pressure and then just slide it around. If you're working with it and it starts to skip like so, that means that you need to pour a little bit more dye into your cup. Let your pen sit there for a minute or so and then pick it back up and it'll be re-inked sufficiently enough that you can um, continue your sign. You can see where it does bleed through, so you need to always keep something underneath what you're working on. I'm going to show you some different strokes that you can do with this. We'll start with the letter B. Like I said, that's a parallel to the side. You can do a calligraphy type uh, stroke by holding the pen at a 45 degree angle to the side and it changes the shape of your letter. You can also take and hold the pen parallel to the bottom of your paper or your poster board or your banner. And this gives you a tall, thin letter. This would be good for like if you had a long word to put in a short space. This squeezes the letter together, compacts it so that you can do a long word real quick. Or if you did it this way, it would stretch out quite a bit more. the two inch stroke that you can use. You have the side that is notched 
and there's many things you can do with that, but this is just one example. You have your one inch stroke, and then you have the one inch stroke that has a notch cut in it. Then you can drop down to your magnum marker sizes. your quarter inch marker size, or you can turn it on its edge and get a fine line. It's not a real fine line like uh, you would get on a, the fine line markers you can buy through the store.